Here is some fossil wood from the Cretaceous age, next to some wood here. A really nice piece found in the chert beds. I'd like to find some more of that today. You can see when I wet it, the lovely fossilized wood. Some of the rings in the top of that piece. Some of the Trido borings there. Also some of the chert bed still on it. Very heavy piece, some lovely lime bear gate in the material too. It'd be great to find another bit of that washing out at low tide on the beach. It's pretty much likely not to happen, but I'll keep my eye open, see what I can find as I go collecting today in spring. Well, I'm just getting the salt water out of this piece of agatized and silicified fossil wood from the Jurassic Coast. I'd like to find some more of that today when I go fossil collecting. It's a really nice piece of the fossilized wood there you can see some Torito borings in as well and uh, when I go out collecting at the low tide in Pinay Bay I hope I'll be successful today when I'm finding these fossil specimens in amongst the boulders at the edge of the sea. I'm going fossil collecting today I'm heading east from Axmouth Harbour I'm going down along the beach and I'll collect fossils heading towards Lyme Regis it's early spring as you can see well, I've parked close to Axmouth Harbour along the river. I've heard now that down in Seaton, it's two pounds in a lot of the car parks for an hour for car parking. So it's good to park here for free for the day. Well, I'm walking down towards the beach now. This is the end of Axmouth River here, going out into the sea. Well, that's quite a big easterly set in down there. So as I go around onto the beach, I think it's gonna be blowing an absolute uh, gale. Well, what a very blustery day it is. And I'm walking east towards Lyme Regis, I don't know how far I'm going to get along the beach today. The sea's being backed up. There's those red Triassic rocks. I really love wandering along this part of the Jurassic coastline with these lovely limestone ledges. I'm going to see some wonderful ammonites up ahead here. They truly make the Jurassic coast what it is. A wonderful prehistoric area to behold at low tide. So I'm gonna wander up to these ammonites and show you a few videos of them. Really large Coronicerus and Areotites bucklandi worn away on the surface of the limestone pavement. You can see the structure of the ammonite with the chambers of the creature filled with limestone or calcite. And I'm gonna wander up to a certain number of these ammonites now and peacefully film them for you to have a look at as I head down towards Pinay Bay to do the fossil collecting to see what I can find.
made it right round into Pinay Bay with one of the right fossil bearing rocks. You can see all the ammonites preserved in calcite on the outside there and quite a nice layer, quite a nice seam of Arnioceros ammonites going through the rock. There's quite a, a good sized one at the top, focusing on that. Here's a bit of the chert bed with fossilized wood in it. You can see the Torito borings there. When it, down by the water's edge I am to get it in the sea just to show you the, the borings in the fossil wood. Look at that. That's a nice piece. Here to see how rough it is. I need to be getting home soon with the tide pressing in. Here's a beautifully eroded ammonite from the Jurassic coast. The ones you get on top of the rocks all the time. They're wonderful to see with the chambers of the creature there. And as I walk up the beach, I'm looking in the chert and in the flint rocks and I've spotted a fossil sea urchin in this block. I'll try and tap it out to show you a bit more. I'll try and get the sea urchin in the picture for you. There it is a fossil sea urchin from the Cretaceous in a piece of chert. I'm heading back down along towards Seaton now at a rate of knots, trying to get back as the tide pushes in. I don't want to be too near the dangerous cliffs. Well, I've stumbled over this gastropod block you can see the fossils in that block in the green sand rock. They've eroded away with the sea's action. I'm heading back down along the beach with the tide coming in and I want to get back before falling light as well. Failing light, I should say. It's uh, uh, area that's really dangerous for the Cretaceous rocks there you can see I, w I don't want to be anywhere near those Cretaceous rocks from falling on me I don't want to kick the bucket as it were and uh, there's enough plastic junk on the beach all the way along bits get washed up at times I try and take a bit of it back with me well another piece for the wood pile piece I found earlier 